Well, I don't even know if this video will get posted with the other ones. Uh, I've sent all the videos to Kelly, uh, but I'll make a quick one for you guys. Stonebridge Shimbo was fantastic tonight. Um, I know it was a slow mile. I'm watching the miles. Some horses go good miles and some haven't tonight, but Stonebridge Shimbo is a 55 trotter and raced good, felt good. And those other horses were, were coming to him, but they were okay horses too. I thought the horse raced well and um, put out well and finished very well. He's a tough bugger. You know, anytime you put him in that position, he's going to be one, two, three. So um, he raced good. Now, we had an equipment break with Yes, and it wasn't technically, yes, the hobbles broke, but it wasn't because they were bad hobbles. He sheared them right off. He was trotting great. He felt great. That's the strongest I've ever felt that horse. When I moved him three wide, I told Jason, like, we trained him almost like an even keel the other day. We started him out, went faster, 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 and it was a strong, strong finishing mile. We're going on the track. I'm looking at the hobbles. I'm like, geez, he doesn't usually wear them tight. For, for, for a stable that wears them tight, he doesn't. And I only had a couple of holes to let them out. I scored him down. He felt great. And I can see what he's doing. He's not sore in any way. He's interfering left hind. And he's not marking it up bad, but he's doing it. And he knows he's going to do it. He's trying to get out of the way of it. We're going to make a minor little adjustment to his shoes behind. I think it will be a, a huge, huge difference for him, his next start. Power-wise, he's ready to rock. This horse is ready to go. He felt good to me. As I said to Jason, I, I hate tinkering with hind shoes on a horse that hurt himself left hind last year. But I think, keep a very close eye on those legs. I think this change will make a huge difference in yes. And this is what we get stuck in, right? Is that yes got in, got hurt. He got hurt last year. And horses don't always get, plus he grew up and matured. Five-year-olds are not four-year-olds and they certainly aren't three-year-olds. So the way we had him at three, put it out of your mind. Throw it out the window. It is not the same horse. So the yes at three, I don't want to hear about um, how yes was at three. This is yes at five. This is a new horse. This is a man of many missions, five-year-old that we have. He is ready to go. Jason knows him very well. As far as his anatomy goes, he knew all the work we had to do with him, how we had to have him to fix him up, and he was 100% correct. One minor little tweak with his shoes, I think you're going to see a big mile come from yes. This horse wanted to get at them tonight, and trust me when I tell you, he ripped the hobbles off the bike. Those hobbles were in very good condition, and he moved in the last turn. If you slow it down, if you have the ability to take the time and slow it down, when he came three wide and went to push forward, he literally, the hobble caught him, and out of sheer, you could have had a wire cable in those hobbles, and he would have bent the cross piece of the bike. That's how hard he hit those hobbles when he came three wide. He just ripped the hobbles off the bike. So we will make some adjustments with him next week. We'll tinker with him. But I'm telling you, this horse is powerful and is sitting on a very, very good mile. So uh, as I said to Jason, got to be very careful when you're making these shoeing adjustments behind a horse that hurt himself. The only thing you don't want is to destabilize the way he feels when he hits the ground. That injury is under control, probably, to be fair, and to be uh, careful, I think what we'll do with Yes is train him a good mile, maybe middle of the week, maybe come a quarter and 29 seconds, and then ultrasound him before he races. Make sure there are no changes in the way those uh, ligaments look and those fibers look in his left hind leg. It is perfect right now. Uh, we had it ultrasounded when he came home. There is, they did a fantastic job rehabbing this horse. If you didn't know it was there, you wouldn't know it was there but the vet was there specifically looking for it and he could see the scar tissue, that little line in there. So, uh, and that will always be there. That's never going away. So, it looks great. It feels great. I saw, I got a real good look at what he's doing and I'm pretty sure we can help uh, Yes out and I think you'll see a little bit different Yes, his next start. Maybe shades of the old Yes, hopefully. So we'll see. So that's what took place tonight. Great night for Simba. We got to look under the hood at Yes. We got to look at, at, uh, at the wheels. We're going to make a few little changes with him, and I think you're going to see a blast from the past, hopefully, next week. So I'll talk to you all soon. Take care. See you later.